Greetings, I'm Shad. I like watching YouTube videos. So what I'm going to be doing here are uh, sharing with you some uh, recommendations I have of excellent YouTube channels. Now, these aren't necessarily shout outs because my channel is very, very small and a shout out from me isn't gonna really do much because these channels are generally far more successful than mine. So this video isn't really about sh doing shout outs, it's about sharing with you channel recommendations of excellent YouTube channels in regard to medieval arms and armor. Now, if you've been on YouTube for a really uh, any uh, length of time and you've uh, looked up medieval arms and armor, there's a very, very high chance that you're already familiar with Scarlagrim, Scholar Gladiatoria, and Lindy Beige. But having said that, Thane Thrand is growing, and uh, you know, I, I basically I, I put Thane Thrand in the same category as Gladiatoria, Lindy Beige, and Scarlagrim. Not necessarily because of the size of their channel, but because of the consistency of their uploads, um, the quality uh, that they uh, of the videos that they produce, how it, they're entertaining. I, like, uh, in regards to simply how good their videos are, I find, yeah, Thane Thrand's stuff is easily as good as the three big titans of the medieval arms and armor YouTube channels. But I'll share a little bit about uh, these channels and what I appreciate in them to begin with. And so, of course, beginning with Scarlagrim, the biggest one, I really feel the biggest strength in Scarlagrim's channel are actually his sword reviews, okay? Scarlagrim does a lot of reviews that, uh, and when he does a review, it's based on practical use. He really tests and pushes these swords to their utter limits, so he really puts them through their paces, and then he gives a very informed and objective review on the sword. He is not trying to pander to uh, um, companies or the sword producers or to, you know, uh, you know, do promos or anything like that. No, if a sword is crap, he will tell you that it's crap. And he will also go into the specific details of the qualities of the sword that he reviews. And I really appreciate those reviews. I like the review he did of the Albion Kriegsmesser was just awesome. And has done many other reviews on other types of swords as well. And so I feel that is Scarlagrim's big strength, the thing he does really, really well. That's not to say he doesn't do other things. He, you know, he does a lot of other things, you know, video games, personal rants, opinions, even he delves into philosophy and stuff like that and of course heaps of other medieval arms and armor type of subjects. The next is Scholar Gladiatoria which is uh, produced and made by Matt Easton. Now Matt is a HEMA instructor, historical European martial arts instructor and he also has some background in archaeology. I don't know to what level his education in archaeology goes to but in any regard he is proven by his perspective and the way he pr approaches the subject matter that he has a very scientific or or even archaeological way of approaching uh, these subjects. And so Matt's strengths is of course practical experience and informed opinion. He is very reliable in the information he gives and I feel one of the big reasons why he's so reliable is because he puts all his thoughts, opinions uh, and the things he shares through a, and you can see this but in the way in the way he kind of talks about stuff he puts it all through a very structured analytical process in regards to historical context. And that's his favorite word, context, and I think that comes from maybe his experience with archaeology. Because so much of course does come down to context, and so he's very ready to uh, say something is wrong when he feels it is wrong and give good reason for it as well. And then of course he has a bucket load of practical experience from his personal training in HEMA. And Matt has hundreds of videos. I think it's up to the hundreds now. Heaps, heaps of videos about so many subjects and I have learned heaps from Matt. He is just an incredible resource for this subject of medieval or even just historical weapons and armor. Next, Lindy Beige. Now, it, Lloyd, that's his name. Lloyd is a champion, all right? And one of the big strengths that I find, and of course, like uh, like with all the other channels, Lloyd talks about historical weapons and armor, but also other things. And this is probably, yeah, not probably, this is the big strength that Lloyd has, is that he also talks about, far more so than the other channel, other cultural kind of aspects of history outside of weapons and armor. So he talks about the role of women in history. He also talks about military formations, footwear, like a whole just gamut of subject matter in regards to history, which makes him a really wonderful resource. And on top of that, 
he has a great sense of humor. He also brings to the table a, the perspective of a reenactor. Lloyd has done a lot of reenactment in the past, and so he is able to bring the things that he has learned and experienced in reenacting to the table in regards to his subjects or the videos, you know, that talk about history, the medieval period, classical period, and so on. Next channel is Thane Thrand, and I should say, Eldergrim as well. You can't mention Thrand without mentioning his mate Eldergrim because they're basically a duo. It's their channel and they both work together to make excellent videos. The strength of Thrand's um, channel, Thrand and Eldergrim's channel, practical application. These guys test it in the real world. They get real swords, put it against real material, and do the real thing. And so, um, I have no problem with academic theory, and that's a lot what I do. I look at things in an academic sense, because I, I don't, you know, own heaps of real swords and other things like that. Well, with Thrand, the channel Thane Thrand, Thrand and Eldergrim, what they do is, that, oh yeah, they're, they're happy to talk about theory and academic, you know, uh, analysis and stuff like that, but what they do more often, and even after they, if they talk about that stuff after, they put practical application. They test things in a real sense. And they, and it, they call themselves this, and I agree with them that they are, that they are experimental archaeologists. Is that the right term? Experimental archaeologists? Meaning that they do physical experiments in determining how things worked historically. And that gives them a high level of credibility because they really test things in the, or they test things in the real world. And they have a very good understanding of the subject matter as well. And so the big strength of the channel Thane Thrand, which belongs to Thrand and Elder Grimm, or the, you know, the duo team who are on it, is the practical application of side of things. And honestly, they do things that are full on dangerous and that's phenomenal. It's awesome, right? I would never try it because I'm a wimp. I mean, they are willing to have Elder Grimm hold his shield and Thrand with a full sharpened sword will hit the shield and get the sword to jab into it. And this is a real sword. And so, you know, Elder Grimm, Thrand, you've got balls, all right? <laughs> and that's the strength of their channel. So phenomenal channel. I comes with my, uh, you know, high recommendation. And of course, all these channels come with my recommendation because I'm subscribed to each one and I've uh, watched their content for a very long time. And so by some amazing, you know, thing that you don't know of one of these channels, go check them out. You will learn a heap from them and enjoy them immeasurably. All right, so the next channels I that come with my full recommendation, okay? And uh, like I said, for a channel to come with my own personal full recommendation, they have to be of a high enough level of quality because it's snobby to say this, but it's true, I have high standards in regards to the things that I'm willing to recommend and indeed watch. And so this next channel is a much, much smaller channel, but comes with my full recommendation. It is the Metatron. He is a champion, one of the nicest guys you'll ever meet, and he has just an awesome YouTube channel. And if you want to know the strengths of the Metatron's channel, that sets his channel, I feel, apart and also kind of raises it above the schlosh that you find on YouTube, is his strengths is one, he's a linguist, okay? Okay, and so this guy is Italian and he does all his videos in English and he also knows many other languages and so he, one of the huge strengths and features of his channel is that he is so good at languages specifically the right pronunciation of medieval terms and stuff in historical context. And so, yes, the strengths of the Metatron. Like, he does videos in all, you know, subjects in regards to medieval weapons and armor and culture and things like that, but his particular strengths is in language and also in Roman kind of culture things because Rome, Italy, he's kind of grown up in that culture kind of thing, but he has a, a great you know, amount of reliable, credible information that he has uh, been able to share in regards to uh, Roman, you know, themed uh, historical videos. Something also that sets the Metatron apart quite a bit from almost every single other channel as well is that he has a lot of experience and understanding of Asian cultures, okay? Asian martial arts and Asian weaponry, specifically Japanese and stuff. And uh, that's something you will not find in any other channel I've mentioned so far. And the Metatron is not nearly as well known as these other channels. And uh, you know, I think his channel is only about two or three years old. Um, maybe even, I don't know, but you know, I'm sure he'll correct me. His channel is bigger than mine, so you know, it's not like I'm going to give him more views by um, me giving a recommendation. But he, his channel comes with my high recommendation because of how good it is. 
And the Metatron has a great level of interaction with his subscribers and audience. And he is so, such a respectful, friendly, good guy as well. And so he's a champion. Check out his channel. Awesome channel. Awesome guy. So the next channel that I'll mention that isn't as well known, but gets mentioned a lot in other channels, is the Roland Warzeka. Roland Warzeka. That's what I'm going to go for. Blame my bad Australian if I'm pronouncing it right. Roland, okay. Roland um, uh, became more well... It's funny. I say he's well known, yet he's not well known. Specifically, he has one YouTube video that he did not film. Someone else filmed. He's a HEMA instructor, historical European martial arts, specifically sword and shield, Viking sword and shield, and someone videoed one of his classes and put it on YouTube and it got a phenomenal amount of views and there's good reason for it because the video is amazing. It is awesome. Go check it out and uh, this is Roland in the video but it's not posted by Roland. He has his own YouTube channel he made afterwards and his own videos are nowhere near as viewed as this video that was put up previously. The thing about Roland is, like, if you want the credible, you know, source that has a huge level of practical experience in the subject for sword and shield combat, Roland is the guy to check out. The videos are of great quality, they're very informative, he throws in a little bit of humour now and then, which I really appreciate, and so his channel comes again with my high recommendation. Awesome channel, awesome videos. Big strength of Roland is the sword and shield, specifically the round Viking period, Viking period, you know, sword. That's his strength. Next channel, Medieval Review, a very more recent YouTube channel, uh, but some of his videos show amazing promise. One in particular, it's a very long video, but he goes and mentions all the different areas or levels of quality in sword reproductions or reproduced sword that you can buy in the modern day. Um, and it's a, such an informative video. And he also does reviews of other swords as well and stuff like that. And he's even tried out doing movie reviews and stuff like that. So next channel, English Martial Arts. Now, uh, I forget his name, my apologies. Uh, but he comes at things from the perspective of uh, a pugilist, meaning a kind of like a medieval period martial arts. When I say martial arts, I'm talking about fisty, fisty cuffs, uh, unarmed martial arts, the specific European medieval unarmed martial arts pugilism. He has a lot of knowledge on back swords and he also comes to the table with practical experience behind him and also a perspective that is fairly unique as a unarmed medieval European martial artist. So thank you for your channel, um, English Martial Arts, link is there. I uh, wish you all the best in the future. These are the channels that come with my full recommendation. They are awesome. Go check them out. They are amazing. These next channels, they don't come with my full recommendation yet. Okay, they could, but they don't come with my recommendation yet because I feel they still have room to grow. And that growth is in those, you know, four qualities that I've talked about in my previous video, what makes a YouTube channel good. They show potential and I wish them all the best. I hope their channel will grow and find greater success in the future. And so these honorary, 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 <laughs> these honorary, honorary mentions, right? I'll get there, I'll get there. Are Carito the Dragon Slayer. Uh, now, Carito's channel, he uploads consistently, he's uh, doing his best effort, and he definitely gets an honorary mention for the effort that he puts in, how brave he is for putting himself out there, and for simply being such an awesome guy. He's also one of my subscribers, comments actively on my videos. I'm um, a great guy. Check him out. He deserves a mention. So, Carito, I hope your channel will grow, and I wish you all the best in the future, mate. The next honorary mention is Teutonic Penguin. Now, uh, the Teutonic Penguin, again, he's a champion, and he puts in such an effort. Like, he has uh, been putting up videos for quite a long time, actually. I appreciated his videos on how to make heater shields. Certainly deserves an honorary mention. Teutonic Penguin, awesome. And last but not least is Klausowitz. I hope I'm pronouncing it right, mate. Klausowitz is, again, one of my uh, subscribers, and he uh, watches my YouTube videos, and he puts himself out there and makes some very detailed videos on military applications of medieval arms and armor. That's kind of his armor, his main theme. He looks at military application. So good on you, mate, for putting yourself out there. I wish you all the best in the future, and I hope your YouTube channel will grow and continue to grow. So there you go. Thank you for watching. Those are the channels that come with my recommendations and come with an honorary mention from myself as well. So uh, go check them out. Hope you will enjoy. Thank you for watching and I shall see you next time.